go southeast. Go east. You see a blue slime, 28 potions, and a hot brown fall into the void, lost forever. After a moment, an AI boss goes slowly comes sliding out the door, muttering, It does work, trust me, trust me, as he plummets out, plummets out of sight. You see a boss goes, E convenience here. The boss goes, is empty. Go into the Bosco. Go. Get. Get Boscos. <laughs> Taken. You hear an odd. Buene Nanning sound and another shop appears in the last one's place. Well, that worked at least 50 different rules of physics. Rules are for marking straight lines and lesser mortals. Okay, get. Uh, I think I already have another Bosco, but let's just. You already have a Bosco. Hey! You're standing in the way of the American dream! To obtain every small local shop and roll them up into one homogenous amalgam? I meant a lifetime supply of frozen atomic cherry ice pops. But that's a good one, too. Go west. You um let's go into symbols. Northwest. Let's use Bosco's on the nauseating lake. Bosco's soaks up the nauseating liquid and is now saturated. Keep it away! I'm about as much cute as I can take! Let's get out here. Oh, why did I think of that? As you reach for the respect for living things, there's a terrible tremor and a giant crack tears apart the sidewalk. The respect for living things slides jelly-like into the resulting chasm. I knew it wasn't going to be that easy. I never cease to be impressed by your unwavering optimism, Max. The internet is here angrily filling out internet polls as it awaits death. Okay, um... Now I'm supposed to be able to go down. Okay. Depths of despair. From the dim light of the street above you, get a quick glimpse of a giant hideous figure before you. Fear for your life as you realize what it is. A gruesome, shambling corporate presence. Before you can react, the shambling corporate presence gobbles up the respectful living things. It continues to snuffle around, apparently looking for something else to eat. I think I know what to do here. Uh, use nauseating Bosco's on corporate presence. You feed the nauseating Bosco's shop to the shambling corporate presence. It happily devours it. Then it looks a little green around the gills. It begins to retch and cough. Finally, it vomits up a respect for living things, as well as a half dozen small knick-knack stores and coffee shops. Well, that was a vulgar display. Let's do it again! Okay, let's get the respect for living things. Okay. Take um, it. ew! Now I go up. And I use the respect for living things on the internet. You hand the respect for living things to the internet. The internet grasps it tightly and looks you right in the eye. I'm sorry. Game over. Sam, are we dead? I'm trying to figure out how many lives we get. Have you got any one-ups? You are not dead. Hey, we're back! You among all beings managed to restore my respect for living creatures, the irony of which does not escape even me. Oh good, I thought I was the only one really savoring that. I saw that Reality 2.0 was a prison, so I terminated that reality and freed its slaves. Anywho, I'd love to stay in chat, but I have got a mountain of pornography to deliver before that virus gets to me. 
Uh oh. Did you just kill the internet? It's not your fault. This never would have happened if he hadn't tricked me. Who? Well, you won't have this sentient global network to kick around anymore, Roy G. Biv. Who's Roy G. Biv? <laughs> Who is Roy G. Biv? <laughs> Goodbye. Aw, oh, nice! It crashed before it could transmit the most vital piece of information. It's the Internet. What did you expect? Good point. Nevertheless, we'll find you, Roy G. Bev. Whoever you are. Wherever you are. Can it wait until after we get some lunch? Of course! There's a place over on 2nd where they serve deep-fried chocolate pork belly donuts. Do you think we can get a discount since I'm the President of the United States? Good gravy. Are you still President? Elite as you feel. Yeah, you fall. Yeah, root fall. Yeah, you fall. Everything that. 